<laughs> no, Grandma, no. I think we'll be fine. No, we don't need any more blankets. Thank you. Just, I love you. Good night. Oh, no, Mrs. Markell. No, really, I'm fine. The bleeding stopped. I'm sure Pookie didn't mean it. I shouldn't have been doing what I was doing. What were you doing? I was standing next to the little bastard. Oh, oh no, Mrs. Markell. <laughs> really, I'm fine. You be safe, young man. I'm just going down the hall. But, uh, Doug, where are you going? To my bedroom. Yeah, right here. What? We're sleeping in here. We? We who? We, we. You and me, we. Where? Right here on the bed. What? Two best friends. Two pillows. One bed. One big problem. Then Pillow Talk, Talk by Peter Tolan. Doug, where did you think you were going to sleep exactly? In the other bedroom. Doug, this is a mobile home. They don't give you another anything. They give you one kitchen, one bathroom, one living room, and one bedroom. I thought there was another bedroom. That's a closet. Okay, yeah, it's a closet. Just turn off the light when you get into bed. All right. All right. Good night. Good night. Oh, oh, man, writing in your car all day and then see on this trip. Oh, it's killer on my back. I should sleep on the floor for some support. Right. Okay, which floor are you planning on using exactly? The floor in the living room. My grandmother's in the living room. Aaron, I have the opportunity. No, I have the privilege of making an older woman feel very happy. Ah, I'm going to respect the sanctity of my grandmother's mobile home and end this conversation right here. You want to go sleep on the floor? Go sleep on the floor. T tomorrow morning we'll find your empty shoes and a 155 pound dog. Can I tell you something? What? You want to sleep standing? No, it's embarrassing. Okay. What is it? I've never slept with another man before. Really? I had you pegs as the kind of guy that slept with hundreds of men. Oh, you know what I mean. I've never slept with a man in the same bed before. Not even in scouts or something? I wasn't in scouts. Sleeping together wasn't allowed in chess the club. They thought it would throw up our game. Right. What is the problem? It's not a problem. It's just something I've never done. When do you think it's going to happen? You're going to go to bed. You're going to close your precious little eyes. You're going to wake up rested, relaxed, and a huge hickey on your inner thigh. I'm talking about something so serious, and you're taking a big... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like an idiot. Doug, nothing is going to happen. Oh, you've slept with women before, right? Yes, countless times. Thank you. Oh, right, right, right. Well, this is exactly like sleeping with a woman, only nothing happens. Oh, for you, this is exactly like sleeping with a woman. <laughs> Are you having a good time locking my discomfort? I'm having a fabulous time. Look, I'll turn off the light, and you can get into bed at your own leisure, okay? Okay. Good night. Good night. Hello? Yes? You're facing my direction? Well, yes, I usually, usually sleep facing this it way. It feels like you're staring okay, at me. Okay, all right, all right. Maybe we should just switch sides. Yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. Good night. Good night. What is it now? So I'm waiting. For what? For the bed to cool off. What, you want me to blow on it? No, Aaron. I'll use it for breeze. <laughs> Cut it out. What are you doing? I'm trying to dissipate the odor. I don't smell anything. Well, you wouldn't, would you? It's just, you have a very distinctive personal aroma. I do not. I smell good. Did I say it was bad? Distinct personal aroma is a compliment. Look, large people sweat more accepted. What do you mean, large? Oh, nothing. It's cold off now, see? Are you sure? Check the corners. I'm awfully large. large. Did we switch pillows? I don't know. I guess all we have to do is smell for my distinct personal aroma. Oh, yeah, this one's mm. yours. You're building a wall. You know, I don't think I've ever said this stuff, but you are a seething, twisted, massive neurosis. You really are. We all have our little quirks. I agree. You've decided to lump them all together until one night. I don't know, Doug, but I'm beginning to think you have a problem. Problem? A mental problem. What are you trying to say? Let's wait until morning. Aaron, this is my mental stability we're right. talking about here. Can it wait until morning? Aaron, thank you so much. Look, Doug, I didn't mean anything by it. I was just trying to point out the fact that you are a, a closed person. That's all. There's nothing wrong with it. Just admit it. You're scared of any physical contact, especially from another man. That's a little strong. Anybody who puts pillows down the middle of a bed has something to be afraid of, Doug. Okay, fine. 
I'm not a touching person. I don't like to be touched. There's nothing wrong with that. I never said that it was. I was just pointing it out to you. Can we please go to bed? What do you want me to do? I want you to go to bed! You want me to change? No, Doug! Do you want to be something I'm not? You know what? Yes, Doug. Yes. I want you to run out to the mobile home park. You know, I give a great big hug to the first person you see. I want you to hug the farmer and his plow, the truck driver and his mighty rig, the butcher, the traffic cop, the unwed mother. I am turning off the lights. It's a homo thing, isn't it? Lord, help me. What do you mean, a homo thing? The not wanting to sleep in the same bed thing. It has to do with homosexuality, doesn't it? Not unless you did something to me while I was sleeping. No, I read in a book once oh, that something here like... Here we go. Seriously, Aaron, I read in a book once that around 85% of all males have had a homosexual experience in adolescence. 85%? And I never had one. Did you? Don't even ask! I thought we were such great friends, Aaron. And you won't even share your homosexual experiences with me. Experience says I haven't even said a word and you're already jumping to multiples! I sense a certain reluctance. <laughs> yeah, fine, I won this one time. I knew it. You were right. It was back when I was in Scouts. We were on an overnight and a bunch of us guys, we, well, we got up and we snuck away at one in the morning. I am <laughs> Being guys, you know, and then playing with fire, and and then well, one of them told us about it. Uh huh. Play with more than fire? A circle? You got a bear no, 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 that's not what I meant. It's just that, that he won. That's all, and that's my only homosexual experience. Very innocent and a long time ago. Can we please go to bed? This happened so much. What else happened? <laughs> Tim, Scouts. What else happened in no, no. We learned to respect fire. Uh -huh. We learned to survive in nature off the twigs and the leaves. Yeah. And then Bigfoot would chase us back in the game. Come on. And then it would be back to the merit badge. Timmy Loomis and I used to write our names in snow together. Is that a homo thing? No, that's a normal Rockwell. What do you mean? Well, you know, we'd go outside and pee in the snow together and write our names. Does that have to do with homosexuality? Well. I think we would need a handwriting analysis to make that determination. How about a wedgie? No thanks, I'm really Not tired. Not Look, when Timmy Loomis and I were in the fourth grade, we used to do this thing- You and Timmy Loomis again! Didn't you guys have anything, anything at all to keep your stupid little hands occupied? It wasn't so much our hands as- it was our tongue. What? Well, you know, we'd like little kids we'd do. We'd stick our tongues out and we'd touch them together. Uh, is that a homosexual thing? Yes. <laughs> you think so? Oh, 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 yeah. Definite homosexual experience. Tongue touching? Very high on the list. Doesn't compare to your merit badge. Well, so few things do. Homosexual experience. I have one. I am part of the 85%. I wonder if Timmy knows. And then that's the bell. End of discussion. Ring a ding ding. Now we can both go to bed that, knowing that you don't want to touch me and I sure as hell don't want to touch you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> gonna sound strange. I really doubt it. I'm a little offended by that last remark you made. And what last remark was that? About how you sure as hell don't want to touch me? You're offended by that! I'm a little hurt is all. Now I know what hell looks like. It's a small room in a mobile home with a bed, a lamp on the wall, and a short balding guy. Think I'm ugly, is that it? Oh, no. An no, ugly, no, short, no, balding no, guy. No, Doug, that is not what I meant when I said that you were short and balding, that I did not want to touch you. It was just an attempt, a meager attempt to try to show you that such an action of touching you is not and probably never will be on my personal agenda things to do. I don't know what your problem is, Aaron. I'll tell you what my problem is, Doug. <laughs> I'm trying to get some sleep, some well. I don't need sleep, and all I hear is this maniac talking about pissing in the snow and sleeping on the floor, <laughs> touching tons of Timmy Lewis. And now, now you have the nerve, the audacity to tell me that you are offended by the fact that I don't want to touch you. I'm going insane. I'll tell you what, you want to go sleep on the floor? Go sleep on the floor. You don't want to be touched? I'll touch you all you way, you crazy bastard. <laughs> Sort of wrestling. Yeah, yeah, wrestling. And Ned, no, it's nothing like Cousin Wade. Please believe that. No, just just forget everything you just saw and go back to bed. I love you. Good night. This is all my fault. We are never gonna talk about this again. Maybe we should. No, Doug, guys do not talk about sleeping together. They just 
They sleep, they get it over with, and then it's done. Good night. Good night. I'm gonna tell my grandmother you're an epileptic. What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell her that you're having a seizure and I was trying to keep you from swallowing your tongue. You're yeah. pathetic. Oh, no, Doug, I'm screwed. You have any idea what's gonna happen the moment my grandmother wakes up, the very second she opens her eyes, she's gonna think, now I find it that I had to do first thing. Oh, that's right. I had to call Deacon Sheila and tell her son's gay. You're overreacting. Go to hell, I'm overreacting. It's not your family you'll have to deal with. You'll just be Doug. You're blowing this whole thing out of proportion. Oh, nice choice of words there. Oh, there was a bug. A very strange, hairy bug. There was a bug. It had a gun, too. Oh, shut up. You really are threatened, aren't you? It's easy for you to say, Doug. You don't have anything to be worried about. Neither do you. You don't know that. You're my best friend. Great. Me and Timmy will miss Aaron. I bet if he was here, you wouldn't be saying that. Aaron. You wouldn't be saying anything at all. Your tongue would be too busy. Fine. Be like that. I was just trying to tell you. That you're my best friend because I've never told you before and I thought it would help. Great. I'll just tell my grandmother that we're best friends and I'll solve the whole thing. I love you, Aaron. What? It's because we're best friends. See, we're best friends and we're open with each other and we love each other. Hey, will you? Hey, pass that Sports Illustrated, will ya? Oh, I need to think. Aaron, you know you do need. What? You need a big hug. Come here, pal. If only I was driving a truck with a gun rack. What are you doing? getting undressed. Well, I mean, obviously, but why? After all of this. I don't like this with my clothes. What, 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 no more pillow wall? I think we'd have to use our pillows. We're sleeping. But Doug, what if I kick you? I'll turn the other cheek. <laughs> Look, Aaron, tonight is a small piece of a much, much larger puzzle. I made this much progress in the first night. Imagine what the rest of the show will be like. Maybe she died in her sleep.